Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Michael of Living Streams International bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. And this morning, I'd like to capture my thoughts that blessings never erase wrong. Blessings never erase wrong. And you remember when Jacob was running away from Esau, you know, he stole in his brother's birthright. God met him. And when God met him, I was thinking that God was going to ask Jacob, why did you do this? And why did you do why this? Why this? Why that? Why this? Why that? But God never did any of those things. God just, I mean, he began to talk to him about blessing. And God began to talk to him about the potential. You see, I'll multiply your seed as the stars. I, said, I mean, blah, 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 blah. God never mentioned the fact that you have done wrong by your brother. You have done something that you shouldn't do. You have, you, have, you have cheated your brother out of his birthright. It's understandable because Esau wasn't thinking right. He was, he was feeding on his, uh, his convenience against his conviction. He was feeding on his convenience against his, his, his uh, feeding on his pleasure against a covenant that God had made with, his, with generations. But here's the interesting thing. When God came to Jacob at Bethel, he never spoke about what Jacob had done wrong. But you know one thing? Somebody, somebody was saying, so I mean, in, in, uh, in typical Ghanaian parlance, he went, uh, <laughs> and then one day, he met Esau. So you see, God blessed him. And God said, I'll do this for you. But Esau was waiting for him around the corner. And sometimes there are some things that you do that you think are under the rug. Around the corner, the consequences will be waiting for you. That's not a pleasant feeling at all, a pleasant thought. That's the reality. Unless, and what God did was God arranged in such a way that Esau would meet him so that Jacob would have an opportunity to look at Esau in the eye and say to him, I'm sorry. The blessing does not erase. It doesn't erase the wrong. So you may be blessed, but the wrong has not been erased. And the only way to erase that wrong is sometimes looking at another in the face when you know the person knows what you have done and tell the person, you know, what? I missed it. I'm sorry. Well, as usual, the choices are always yours. So, see you later.